morning, saints. It's uh, good to have you with me today. Um, this is our devotion. This is Monday after Pentecost. And for the next uh, few days, uh, I think about the f- four days here of this week, we're going to be uh, in, in numbers and we're going to be talking about this very interesting story um, um, between Balak and Balaam. And uh, so we'll try to unpack this just a little bit and, and talk, talk about that. Uh, of course, as, as usual, I, if you're following along with me in LSB, we're on page 295 for the order of morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, if you're following along with me, if you have a treasury of daily prayer, we're on page 330, page 330. And um, so our psalm reading for today is Psalm 128. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. We'll continue here with our Old Testament reading, and today we are in Numbers. Uh, We begin with Numbers chapter 22, verses 1 through 20. Then the people of Israel set out and camped in the plains of Moab beyond the Jordan at Jericho. And Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was in great dread of the people because they were many. Moab was overcome with fear of the people of Israel. And Moab said to the elders of Midian, This horde will now lick up all that is around us as the ox licks up the grass of the field. So Balak, the son of Zippor, who was king of Moab at that time, sent messengers to Balaam, the son of Beor, at Pethor, which is near the river in the land of the people of Amor, to call him, saying, Behold, a people has come out of Egypt. They cover the face of the earth, and they are dwelling opposite me. Come now, curse this people for me, since they are too mighty for me. Perhaps I shall be able to defeat them and drive them from the land. For I know that he whom you bless is blessed, and he whom you curse is cursed. So the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the fees for divination in their hand. And they came to Balaam and gave him Balak's message. And he said to them, Lodge here tonight, and I will bring back word to you as the Lord speaks to me. So the princes of Moab stayed with Balaam. And God came to Balaam and said, Who are these men with you? And Balaam said, And Balaam said to God, Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, has sent to me, saying, Behold, a people has come out of Egypt, and it covers the face of the earth. Now come, curse them for me. Perhaps I shall be able to fight against them and drive them out. God said to Balaam, You shall not go with them. You shall not curse the people, for they are blessed. So Balaam rose in the morning and said to the princes of Balak, Go to your own land, for the Lord has refused to let me go with you. So the princes of Moab rose and went to Balak and said, Balaam refuses to come with us. Once again, Balak sent princes, more in number and more honorable than these. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus says Balak, the son of Zippor, 
Let nothing hinder you from coming to me, for I will surely do you great honor, and whatever you say to me I will do. Come, curse this people for me. But Balaam answered and said to the servants of Balak, Though Balak were to give me his house full of silver and gold, I could not go beyond the command of the Lord my God to do less or more. So you too please stay here tonight, that I may know what more the Lord will say to me. And God came to Balaam at night and said to him, If the men have come to call you, rise, go with them, but only do what I tell you. This is the word of the Lord. Well, synopsis here, uh, saints. We see this, this, this problem. Here's the, the king of the Moabites, Balak, who he's, he's struck, by, uh, struck uh, by fear when he sees the vast numbers of these people that have been brought out of Egypt, the Israelites. And he's fearful. So he has his elders go with the fees for divination, and they go to Balaam, um, this is a very unusual, very peculiar situation. So Balaam is this diviner, uh, and they go to pay him the fees, and God makes it very clear uh, right away that he is not to put any curses upon his people. As we read these next few days, this is, this is an important point for us to remember here. As strange as this whole situation seems to be to us when we read it that God's word cannot be manipulated God these are God's people he has blessed them he is going to give them their inheritance and the land that he promised them and all of these things and um, nobody is going to be able to stop what God has promised and so we're going to see this kind of unfold the next couple of days as as uh Balak continues to come back to Balaam uh, and, and tries to uh, convince him uh, to, to, to put curses on these people. But time after time, uh, Balaam says, I cannot do that. What, what God has blessed, I cannot curse. You know, dear saints, for us, when we look at this today, God has, God has blessed us. He has justified us solely because of his son, and, and we belong to him. There's, there's no longer a curse upon us, but blessings. God has blessed us with um, immeasurable gifts, right, that he brings to us. Certainly when we're here in, in church and in the divine service and all of those things, look at all of the gifts that God God brings here, where we come in this place and he's here to meet us each and every time and bring us the gifts that he has for us. And we are blessed. As much as, as, much as our enemies, certain, certainly spiritual enemies uh, and other things, and even here on earth would like to put curses upon us, what, what God has blessed cannot be cursed. And that's for you and I here in this today, dear saints, this is the promise uh, that we see for us. Nevertheless, if we connect, make a connection to the catechism here today, once again, we're seeing a, a first commandment issue here. Uh, you shall have no other gods. Um, it seems as if, uh, and, and the second commandment where uh, here's, here's Balak which says, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. And he's trying to, to manipulate God in a way, trying to get Balaam to do what he wants, he wants done and trying to manipulate as if he can manipulate God. Well, dear saints, we know from his word that God will not, he does not, he does not break his promises. He does not go back on his word. And so uh, this, this will not change um, and as I said earlier, we'll, uh, we'll see how this unfolds over the next couple of days or so. Well, <clears throat> shall we pray? This is the first, the Monday after Pentecost, and the prayer of the day that we have here today, I'd like to pray this with you. Um, and it says this, O God, who gave your Holy Spirit to the apostles, grant us that same spirit that we may live in faith and abide in peace, 
through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.